Hello and welcome back. In the short lecture, we will be working with one to many different uh, PowerShell uh, sessions can be invoked all together and we would be running few of the scripts that would actually trigger on remote computer and get the output back to us on our PowerShell console. Uh, to begin with that, um, and normally if we try to do uh, to get the output of any of the remote computers what we are trying to do is currently like this uh, we are getting the output which is nothing but in the uh, in the previous lectures what we learned is not in the uh, remoting but uh, from the basic to advanced uh, in between we learn all these uh, kind of you know commands or syntaxes which was returning the values from a remote computer in this case from the uh, DC01 and localhost was returning whether the service status is whether it is started or stopped kind of thing uh, this is working because uh, there is a something called DCOM within the computer since you are the admin you should be knowing that com uh, components are getting this uh, information back to you but now this is not the case uh, what we wanted the, the one good reason is uh, this is uh, gets delayed it's not the right way to do it uh, uh, because it might stack for example if I give you wrong names it it never uh, invoke or it never gives the back the status back so there could be a lot of other problems so instead of doing that what we wanted is we wanted to uh, start a session on the remote computers and get the output back to our screen so to do that what uh, we have is we have another command let called invoke uh, that means you are going to start a command on the uh, remote computer so that's called invoke so if you just uh, look at the help uh, for the invoke command uh, you can you have a different parameters different syntaxes are available if you see here multiple syntaxes are available out of that you know you can uh, use the uh, options like if you are looking for the just the help files you can as explained in the basic uh, basic lectures uh, we talked about the examples so there are plenty of examples can be checked uh, with the ps invoke uh, that's an invoke command so now uh, what I'm gonna try to do is uh, if you can you know look at go through the documentation of this uh, they are you know here they're trying to you know save the credentials and trying to pass it uh, in this situation they're actually running uh, to connect to the power about by using the PowerShell with the, an object called Microsoft Exchange server and they're trying to you know retrieve the URI like that there are different different examples what we have so if you can look at this uh, one uh, which is uh, which we would like to you know test it for example this one so I wanted to you know tell you you know how it looks like uh, let me tell you so the command is the definitely the invoke hyphen command and uh, here what I'm gonna do is I need to give the remote computer names so in this situation um, I'm actually giving the list of my uh, computers so my computers are like INHYD hyphen this is your one which is my domain controller also I want to run this on a computer called my localhost so localhost these are the two computers I want to run so what I wanted to run is I want uh, the running uh, command light or the syntax what we wanted is we wanted to put into a uh, script block so that's called SC or I script block so it's gonna put into the script block with a uh, two brackets now so here you can put some kind of you know value or some kind of uh, syntax or so for whatever we learn like uh, we try to put uh, this command example uh, example this the simple command oh no not that so get hyphen services specific command uh, example get hyphen services specific or whatever the command lets you have so far worked so all that can be executed here so it is actually pulling out that so it's just started uh, pulling out from the domain controller then it, it would actually coming and pulling out the from the local machine so so it's as simple as that uh, let me break it uh, so it's as simple as that uh, whatever the uh, command or whatever the syntax you wanted to use you just have to put it into the uh, in this bracket but in the real time when you, you know actually Google or when you try to search um, you might not be seeing this specific one so the uh, script block is not mentioned because that's not uh, really mandatory to mention so even though without that also it works uh, as expected but the right uh, 
command as per the documentation is that of course uh, that's not mandatory so most of the people go and write in this way let me fine tune the specific command uh, uh, wait uh, like I wanted I don't want to see everything because it's uh, scrolling is really difficult uh, sometimes to you know testing so I just you know uh, quitting for only bit so I'm able to see that two specific uh, computers which are PS computer specific information I'm able to pull out properly because what else you can also do is uh, here uh, whatever the output is coming out so you can definitely don't want to see on your uh, screen instead you want to pipe out to maybe out file uh, to write into some kind of uh, CSV or some kind of uh, XML or can be a text file so that it's gonna write that uh, uh, like invoke uh, specific output for example I can write so it's gonna write there so if I just go ahead and uh, run my specific to like uh, uh, here for example here uh, in more specific I should be able to get the proper output uh, and the, whatever the commands we learned uh, from the basic uh, lectures in the previous uh, sections altogether that all can be executed here so only thing is here the new thing uh, we are trying with the single command which is initiating uh, actions uh, to be performed this is the actions uh, which is going to perform on these computers uh, one by one and it is actually showing the output here now the part would be uh, if you can you know uh, uh, get uh, this specific command whatever it is trying to execute in the situation uh, for example the bit specific what is happening is here on that two computers it is actually running uh, this command and coming back out and giving the output here so that means the session gets actually closed so to just to prove that um, what happens is we can maybe we can test with one of the variables what we can define uh, here instead of this service I can define as the uh, here as some kind of you know value equivalent to or maybe uh, like I can say hello so this value uh, should be there uh, on all those machines uh, two machines so what would happen is it has uh, set that va variable name as value there and if I want you to know, get that specific value what I have to do is I have to uh, print that information uh, so I'm gonna write hyphen output uh, as you know uh, just this value so that it should actually written that specific value uh, to back to me but in the situation it's not uh, writing out anything uh, that means it actually killing that specific session this is a problem in other way there could be some situations where you have to be actively working on that specific session uh, as soon as you close that session you are losing the values uh, for instance here we take an example as the some value or some kind of uh, uh, variable information which was storing inside of this which is uh, disappearing as soon as it has been executed so this is a problem so to address this we do have another uh, command let's for example we can go for the new piece session uh, with the combination of this invoke then uh, we should be able to address this kind of issue so let's give a try this is a third command which we are trying to do to make this to work uh, I need to work on uh, sessions that's the new PS session so new PS session uh, let's have a look on it uh, what uh, what is this this is a new PS session so let's take the help get iPhone help or help so this tells us um, if you can you know look at the description description it it says that it's gonna actually create a session which is a PowerShell session on the remote computer or a local computer so that you can retrieve that session back anytime so it's going to be a persistence that means it is always active until unless you close that a specific session or uh, with uh, with the different commands altogether so like uh, you can use the exit uh, or or if you want to know, go back you can always use the enter PS session and let's try with uh, one of the example uh, like uh, whatever we have so far tried we'll just you know use the same PS uh, session like instead of the new uh, the command how we use is uh, for the new PS session new hyphen PS uh, session 
uh, we simply use this with the command called hyphen computer uh, name uh, which is in this case uh, inhyd hyphen this is zero one which is my domain controller and my local host so these are the two computers I wanted to uh, initiate so instead of I uh, do it uh, here so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to store this into a, a different value see so I should be able to save into a variable uh, so I can define as a dollar with uh, sessions as the value equivalent so that means uh, the value uh, which is gonna execute uh, if you can you know remember in the previous lectures like we try to get the output of the processes information in a stored in a variable so instead of the uh, instead of the processes information it actually pulled out the complete execution of that command similar uh, concept here applies so it's just gonna execute a that means it's gonna start a session on those two computers so we have to use a similar command like uh, we use the you know command so the pattern would be the same but uh, uh, we little bit change instead of the session information uh, like uh, we have here the session right so the session instead of type you computer name so this time we are gonna type as the uh, value which is coming out of this value so here this is the variable name so the variable name we give it so now uh, it's gonna start this invoking uh, a command line or the powershell command on all these sessions because the session is already active we haven't closed the session with a close command so uh, it's gonna execute so to do this again you have to give the uh, script block or uh, without the script block also it works right uh, so you can use this uh, with the two brackets curly brackets and here you can put any of the commands so for example you want to pull out or you want to run some kind of uh, execution with the some great powershell script that can be executed here so to prove this uh, what I can do is I can put another value maybe valuable uh, to uh, some kind of in you know, a value maybe like uh, 45 I'm just coming out of that thread that means it has invoked this value uh, on these sessions so the session is not at a close so if I if I write that output uh, like we have done in the earlier so we should be able to get that specific output so here uh, write hyphen out so that's output uh, output to a variable information so I should be able to get that uh, value on each computer that 45 45 as written uh, which was uh, that means it is actually session is in still an active session this is how you can uh, use as a combination of inno command as well as the PS new session so this is very important and very uh, very useful uh, if you're trying to do the remote administration if you find out what are the sessions are available you can simply uh, hit this va uh, variable so it, it's gonna list you with that specific thread vinrm if you see here the vinrm is the the backend uh, which has uh, started as a process so it's actually available uh, on these two machines in case if you're trying to find out uh, what are the sessions are available maybe not every every time you may not be remembering the uh, variable so you can simply go ahead and run a command let which is PSS sessions uh, that would actually leave list you for example I also open uh, earlier two more uh, on, on the same computer with another PS shell so it's actually PS session was started uh, four times uh, on these machines and each machine twice so that's good um, so these sessions will be available until we actually close this PowerShell or uh, from exit or what we can do is um, we do have a different commands as I said you know a, a ending that uh, P sessions uh, also possible but we would be you know exploring that in the upcoming lectures for now thank you for watching this I hope this is useful for you